Hey everybody, it's Coco here, and I wanted to pass along some more tips, trying new things, learning new things. So as I uh, come across some good ideas I'd like to share with you, let me see if I can put a little more light on this for you. Okay, so for those of you new to my channel, please subscribe, like the video, share it. Anything you can do would help. That'd be great. Um, if you're new to me, I've been making nature papers and basically these are a series of layers and I'm going to talk over how to add more texture. But first, once you build your glue base, spritz a little paint, we start with a substrate of teas, fine herbs, and I'm going to give you a mad concoction you can consider. Raid from your own pantry, see what you have. And then there's an additional layer on top of that, which is threads, textures, and bigger. Parsley, dill, whatever. So let me show you what I have in mind. I will pass along my tips to you. First of all, I make a mix, store it in a jar. I use a Parmesan lid and sprinkle out a little at a time, pour it back in as needed. So you can find your pasta jars will probably fit a parm lid. The Dollar Tree also has smaller mason jars. It's a specific size that fits the parm lid. So keep your parm lid. And I find the glass is a nice touch versus the Parmesan plastic. So what makes a good candidate? Of course, tea, tea that you've already used. You can cut these open and make sure you save the tea bag and even save the fiber. And I'll show you that in the other video. So look, tea, perfect. Um, I like to add the element of more texture. So I've got some roasted sesame seeds going to add those to the mix and they tell you you should go through your herbs every six months here's some plain sesame seeds that have been around a while unroasted who makes uh, tahini and baba ganoush look at static electricity they're stuck I'll work on that later okay uh, one of the other things I love is fennel so I use fennel seeds for bread baking and then I also use it for pasta sauces but these are pretty cool they had a nice minimal amount of bump texture so I'm gonna save back some of those for my sauce I've got some aging basil leaves those are gonna go in now keep in mind um, this will be a substrate and it'll be covered with glue. So the aromatics you'll only get as you're laying them down. You're not going to get them once the paper is dried. Okay, that was parsley flakes. See, it's gonna be interesting because each of these might have a different effect once they hit the watery glue, they might halo out. So here's oregano, kind of a finer yellowish color. Now, a very good candidate are dill leaves. And these are finely ground. Dill definitely halos out kind of in a chartreuse. So I'll put a good amount of that in there. Now, not to be confused, dill seed, which I harvest for my plant, um, it is an altogether different animal. It's going to be a little seed. Have not tried this yet, so it'll be interesting. I do see some woody sticks in there, so um, any of my woodier herbs I might run through the grind uh, grinder. But let me see what those do before I add all of that. And for sure, my sage is too woody. Great in soups and a bouquet garni. You put it in a little cheesecloth sachet. And then you don't have to worry about fishing out the woody herbs later. But I'm going to grind that down as well as my uh, rosemary. Very woody. That would poke a hole in the paper. So they're great candidates. Just need to be finely ground. Set those over here. Now, 
You might have on hand some of these old kits. This is lemon peel. So that lemon might bloom out. We'll see. But, you know, this has been around a while. Hate to throw things out. I'm sure I could throw it in the stock pot. But, as I said, they recommend every six months refresh your pantry, your herbs. Okay, what maybe would make an interesting candidate would be something with the chili pepper seeds. Would add bump, maybe even color. But if you sprinkle this on with your fingers, the danger is it's now on your fingertips. Rub your nose, rub your eyes, and maybe be in pain. So if you're going to do that, be very mindful that is in the mix. I'm going to forego that. And then something I have yet to try is granulated coffee. So let's see. I think this batch, I will give it a try. I guess I should have had that open. And I don't know really how powerful those granules will be. So I'm going to just do a little because I don't want totally muddy paper. I just want a hint of herbs in the background. See what a nice little fresh pop that is. Okay, so now let us see here. Give this a mix. And tune in. I'll be making some more papers. I'm going to grind up those other herbs and put those in here. So, raid your pantry, save your jars, your lids. This actually has a boo-boo in it, but I use it. <laughs> I just pour the stuff right back in through that hole. Okay, so this is cocoa with substrate number one. And I'm going to do another one, <clears throat> what you can use for texture and fibers and little surprises. So stay tuned. Toodles. Happy crafting.